Hey, some sunlight! I'm just gonna fly the drone just to drain the batteries. This has been a while. Makes me wonder again if that affects it in the long term since it's been idle so long because of the rain. today. It says apparently next year on Netflix is going to be this show. It says it's called Ani Science. Yeah, that's how you say it anyways. It says in a future where each citizen is monitored 24-7 by a drone, a woman discovers a murder unaccounted by this surveillance system and investigated why. With the wording too at first I thought it was more along the lines of okay the drones are gonna go kill people like the robots against man and all that. But then it says it discovers a murder unaccounted by this surveillance system. Or maybe machines know how to cover up their own crimes now, huh? I'm guessing this will be a theme for a while in terms of drone tech and stuff like that being used in an evil way. And this was kind of an interesting read because I know recently UPS got the permission in the US to essentially fly where they want to deliver packages and stuff like that and they were the first. But this one here says, Google and UPS both claim to be the first to receive FAA approval to drone delivery. Who's right? In April of this year, Alphabet announced its Google Wing subsidiary was the first to receive Federal Aviation Administration approval to operate a commercial drone delivery program. However, in October of this year, a little over five months later, UPS also announced it was the first to receive FAA approval to create the first drone airline in the US. Are both companies correct in their claims or is one mistaken? From what I gather, it's essentially one has more freedom to fly where they want versus the other. It says to understand the situation, you need to start by understanding what Part 135 certification is and why it's important. Title 14 of the Code Federal Regulations Part 135 outlines the approval necessary to be for profit air carrier or operator in the US. Specifically referring to drones, the FAA states, Part 135 certification is the only path for small drones to carry the property of another for compensation beyond visual line of sight. In other words, without full Part 135 certification, the company can't charge for delivery and is limited in where it can operate. Although that makes you wonder with that kind of wording, can someone do it just for fun, like for an experiment? Because I know like here apparently you can't do that in terms of attaching stuff and delivering it regardless. So do both companies get certification? Yes, but as they say, it's not as simple. It says the companies receive different levels of certification and the implications are important. Google Wing received a Part 135 single pilot air carrier certificate. While this is an exciting step for the company, it's limited. Wing is only licensed for one pilot and is limited to flying drones within line of sight of the pilot or an observer and not over crowds of people. That's kind of interesting. I thought they would have got permission to fly beyond visual line of sight, like without an observer or anything like that. That must be really restrictive in terms of a drone delivery in that sense anyways. If you have to have, let's just say, an observer standing a couple of kilometers away to monitor it. It says UPS Flight Forward also received the Part 135 certification, except it was not the single pilot variant and it came with a Part 107 waiver. Under this certification and waiver, several regulations were waived for Flight Forward. And as they say here, they're allowed to fly its delivery drones farther and where the pilot or an observer can see and it can operate over crowds of people. Additionally, UPS Flight Forward drones can now fly at night and with cargo weighing over 55 pounds. As soon as Flight Forward received the certification, the company completed its first drone delivery at Wake Med Hospital. So I guess it depends on how you look at it. Do you want to see it as in who literally got it first, which would be Google or who got the best, I guess you could say, freedom to fly wherever you wish. In that case, it would be the UPS. Either way, it's always the companies wanting to claim they were the first and all that, right?
Alright, see you guys later.